Okay, Diamonds, this is your teacher, Usman Ali, lecturer at Cardan University. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to create an estimate, actually. So if you remember, while we created a company, the QuickBook asked from us in that long, long interview that would you like QuickBook to create estimates whenever it is needed. So this is actually the right time to use that, that estimate option here. To create one, you're gonna click on the customer's menu and then you're gonna click on the create estimates. So create estimates are actually, uh, these are like the like quotations and proposals which you submit to your customers because they are they inquire it for so so you, you, you're gonna inform them tell them about your product about yourself and uh, how much quantity you are willing to give them and on which rate actually you can give them okay so as to make sure something concerned to that one so what we're gonna do is that in the start that we will actually finalize a customer to which customer we're gonna give this estimate to so for time being we just have only one customer in our giant generation X furniture organization <laughs> and that's mr. Mirwais Nashat so uh, I have selected the customer job here, uh, sorry, the customer name here that I am actually sending this estimate uh, specifically, particularly to the Mr. Mirwais. Then, uh, is it like estimate or I'm selling, sending a proposal or a quotation or a retail estimate? Now, uh, a, a pr let's, let's talk about a little bit on proposal and quote here. Uh, that's actually uh, it's important to proposals uh, it's that that uh, the, the the our customer has actually not inquired anything from us and he's from our own side that we are entrusted in doing business with that customer so we're gonna go for the proposal one and a quotation one it's it's more like it generally we say that actually the customer has inquired about a specific product and then the quantity and model and everything is according to the requirements of the customer we are actually just giving him an an estimate of the price uh, which we're gonna charge him or her for this product or services and your proposal actually um, if we are making a proposal so we can actually from our own side we can look into the needs and wants of our customer uh, or whoever that actually that that guy is uh, and to whom actually we want to uh, provide these products or services so it's more like the uh, quotation is when customers inquire and proposal is that from my side and custom estimate is a it's quite a general term actually we normally use here so we're gonna use this custom estimate uh, template here now this estimate what does it mean it just mean I want to inform my customer if I give you a particular product at a particular on a particular quantity I'm gonna charge you this much okay or I just want to inform them that if you buy these things from me it will cost you this much total with taxes without taxes less prices and everything okay so item let's suppose I want to sell motherboard on this customer and I want to sell hundred uh, motherboards on this customer so actually he inquired from me let's suppose or I'm creating an estimate for him I, I, I'm gonna tell him that how much it will cost uh, you actually so you can see I, I selected the item here the, I uh, what you said typed in the quantity also here the rate is actually 15 per uh, per product or per item 15 into 100 that's 1500 USD my markup is 40% on this one so actually the customer will give me 2100 USD for that one okay now this uh, markup is 40 percent this 40 percent actually means that 40 percent of this 1500 will be my gross profit or how much is the 40 percent of 1500 2100 minus 1500 600 is the money actually which i intends to earn uh, by selling 100 quantity of motherboards on the customer i can change actually if, if you want uh, you can change the markup percentages then uh, uh, I can I also have the option actually to select that this item is it a taxable item or is it a non taxable item so motherboard is quite a quite a uh, business oriented product it's not something like a non-profit product so I would say that yep as per the tax law of my country uh, yep motherboard is actually a taxable commodity and my country says that or my government says that that the buyer of this product should pay five percent tax okay five percent gst general sale tax actually on this motherboard so yep i will take this tax one if not then i'm gonna go for non-taxable so as soon as i click on non-taxable guys you can see here that i get a total of 2100 and my taxes like this this is the markup and taxes nothing here 
But if I click on tax, so from 2100 the bill goes to 2205 dollars. 105 is my tax. So this is actually uh, in total I'm gonna receive 2205 dollars from my customer. One inside this 2205, 1500 is the cost of the product. 600 is my gross profit on which I will actually pay other expenses and taxes to my government and $105 which I am actually taking uh, from this customer is on behalf of the revenue department or the Ministry of Finance of my country okay so this will go to the CGS this will go to my like my profit that's the that goes to my withholding taxes the liabilities and that's the total money which actually uh, the, the the person the customer if he actually uh, makes a decision to buy the product from me so he or she has to pay me this much if I want to give some message actually to my customer so I can go all work is complete thank you uh, for doing business okay uh, I can give a little bit masses to my customer this is actually how you create an estimate so the options available here in estimates is actually you can use estimate proposal format these are actually formats that's best suited to your requirement if you're submitting a proposal if you're submitting a quotation an estimate or you're gonna go for your own design okay so this is how actually you create one I will go and click on save let's save okay so I hope uh, you know now you know how to create an estimate for your customer now estimate uh, let me remind you estimate does not mean that the customer owe me there is no account receivable because I have not received any sales order from the customer and I have not supplied any commodities and I have not invoiced my customer for anything once you uh, what you say submit the uh, estimate here then you're gonna wait you're gonna wait for your customers reply if my mr. Mervais Nazhat uh, he replies it me and he says that okay I am good with it hundred dollars uh, hundred quantity of motherboard suits me but the rate does not suit me or maybe it is okay 15 is okay with him whatever so he will actually send me a formal uh, purchase order to me for Mr. Mervais Nazhat that document would be a purchase order and for me it would be a sales order okay so that's the concept of the estimate thank you thank you folks enjoy